Hey beloveds, thanks for tuning into Beanie TV where I offer you sprinkles of spiritual sassiness. I have been living in Los Angeles for not one, not two, but three years. I just celebrated my three year LA anniversary on April 1st, 2017, and I made it, y'all. We made it. We made it. Hey, hey, we made it. Okay, so a lot of people don't make it past the first year you don't get comfortable until the third year when i tell y'all los angeles is not a city for everybody los angeles is not a city where you can come and wing it you need to have a plan you need to have steady income you need to have a place to live like la is it's a trip it's a trip um i do believe that god brings people to la to strip them of all things that they were comfortable with la makes you is a very lonely city you only have yourself so like i say in my other moving to la videos if you're not ready to be comfortable with yourself be comfortable with the ugliness that is within you to to combat the things of your past then don't move here <laughs> if you're not ready for that like don't move here but los angeles i i do believe that god brings us here to um strip us and and build us back up to become everything that the creator needs us to be in order to live the amazing big bold lives that we've been destined to live and um yeah it's been a trip i mean i've had to learn how to become my own best friend i've had to learn to become my 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 own like lover my own um be in a romantic relationship with myself i've had to learn to not depend upon the opinions and approval of my family members i've had to learn to um not seek the approval or acceptance of people that i've met here i've had to understand that i am my own best friend i am enough for me and um if you're not if you're not respecting my heart space, if we don't vibe, I'm not going to force it out of momentary loneliness. And that's the thing about LA. If you do not know who you are, you're going to attract people who don't know who they are. And y'all just going to be in a mess together. I've, of course, met some really great people here. But I still haven't found, like, that, you know, that one person that really, really gets me. I mean, I have, but, like, she lives, like, in the South. So that sucks but i don't have someone here in la but you know what i got me i got me and i am more than enough for me so yes i have dealt with bed bugs i've dealt with roaches i've dealt with homeless people a woman a homeless woman kicked me on the bus once she didn't kick me that hard so i was laughing but like this is a true story i've seen someone shit on themselves on the bus i've seen someone masturbating in public like with the blanket over them but you saw the movements i know what was happening um i've seen multiple crackheads i see a crackhead every single day and it's not just like it's it's because i take public transportation public transportation is not like how it is in other major cities or like it is in new york like anybody like the homeless situation here is crazy right so homeless people there's a plethora of them. There's no mental institutions here. They all shut down, I think, in the 70s and 80s. There's not a lot of homeless shelters. So you just have homeless people on everywhere in L.A., especially downtown, Koreatown. Um, you hardly see them in Beverly Hills, but they're there. They are there, and they're able to get on the buses for free and the trains for free. Like, So I've seen a lot of craziness. Um, what else about my three years? I'm finally comfortable and I'm finally stable, and I'm not, like, struggling anymore, struggling to understand who I am, struggling to pay these bills, struggling to make friends. You know what? Forget it. Forget it. Like, I'm right here. God is literally walking me past peaceful streams at this moment in my life. Like, I'm just going with the flow. I'm not stressing. I'm not doing any of that. Like, I'm the happiest, the most solid. I'm able to um see those like egoic thoughts and catch them before they turn into like snowball avalanches of like nonsense in my mind i am um yeah i i mean like the first two years of living in la were hard and i guess because i just come from a strong family i have been able to endure 
I think a lot, of course. I mean, like, once a week I'm crying, like, missing my friends, missing my families, wondering if I should quit acting, wondering if I should just move back home, like, and pursue acting in New York. Like, definitely so many thoughts have gone through my mind, but I'm here, I'm not going anywhere, and, um, yeah, I encourage you to, if you was, like, if you want to move to L.A., um, please understand that this is a city that is very lonely. Don't come here seeking friendship. You need to come here seeking yourself because that is who you're going to be with most of the time. It's very weird. Like, making friends here is a very weird thing. I'm used to having a lot of friends, good-hearted people surrounding me, and it's not really like that in LA, and that's okay because, again, I am enough for me. So if you want to move to LA, if you're ready to be by yourself, if you're ready to dig deep, if you're ready to pursue your dreams and don't move out here without like a big dream because honestly it's like it's not worth it if you are not here to become the biggest boldest best thing like don't come out here because the struggle is so real so if you do not have a big dream a big vision that um has to incorporate los angeles whether it's you wanting to work in the tech industry or the um fashion industry or you want to be an actor if like your dreams are not big don't move out here the struggle is real um but the great thing about los angeles is that your big bold magnificent dreams are going to come true there's something very magical about los angeles and dreams manifesting and you living like this big life like los angeles there's something magical here so if you're ready to be successful in your own way in your own right and you're ready to like really go for it and again you're ready to be alone you're ready to like have those ramen noodle moments then move to LA because it is I I love LA because it's like it's it's like you're a rock right and LA is like pressure 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 and all this crazy shit is always happening and then you come out a diamond and you come out better than you've ever been. So again, if you're ready to make the move, if you're ready to go through all of that stuff, I encourage you to move to Los Angeles. Please watch my other Moving to LA videos. Don't come out here without having somewhere to live. Don't come out here without a job. Don't come out here without a vision because the city will eat you alive and you will end up going back to where you came from. Okay? Okay. Thank you guys for tuning in and I thank you guys for being on this three year anniversary journey with me. I was able to really like hone in on what I wanted my channel to be about. Um, once I moved to LA, I got focused. So I thank you to all of my subscribers. I thank you for every single person that shares, that comments, that retweets. I appreciate you guys because you guys make me know that I'm on the right path and you guys encourage me. And I hope to one day like literally kiss each and every one of you on the forehead so i thank you guys for being on this journey with me watch all of my moving to la videos please let me know what else you want me to talk about in the comments below and i'll see you guys next video peace